Hi gang, Mr. Matt here. Uh, hopefully you guys all had a good Mother's Day weekend. Um, kind of a rainy Monday. Started out sunny actually, but it's raining outside now. Um, well, I'm in the studio doing my, my Monday uh, art projects and YouTube videos. So uh, I have a cool project for you guys called uh, Animals from Trees. And it showcases the art uh, of an artist named Alfred Basha, who does these pen and ink drawings that I... I'll send examples of them in the Microsoft Word document that has the instructions for the project. But basically it's like the silhouette of an animal and the inside is filled with trees. They're really, really cool. Um, I have a couple of websites that showcase his work in addition to the pictures that I'm going to put in your Word doc that you can look at to refer to. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do an art project that includes trees because the, in springtime the trees are budding so I kind of wanted to do trees um, and it makes sense to combine the trees with animals because animals live in a forest and you can't have a forest without trees so the two things kind of go together uh, trees, forests, and animals. Um, most of the animals that he does in his work are animals that would we would see in the Northeast deer, fox, uh, coyote, bear, squirrel, birds, those sorts of things. Um, so, and that's kind of what we, well, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> if you want to do an elephant, go for it. But uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to change camera views and start by doing the outline of the animal. And I'm working on a smaller piece of paper. It's a 9 by 12 instead of the big 12 by 18. Because these are going to be pen drawings. A little, if you have, you could use a ballpoint pen or a fine point sharpie. Um, any kind of uh, pen you have around the house. But I am going to start with pencil. So I'm going to stop this and then I'll zoom in on my paper and show you uh, draw, how I would draw the contour of the animal lightly in pencil. Okay. All right. So I've got uh, pencil, paper, and I... Let me get rid of this Word doc for a minute. Uh, I went to one of the websites I provided the link for in the Word doc. It's called This is Colossal. And this is, uh, it features a lot of artists' work, but this particular link is all about Alf Alfred Basha. And the one that I'm going to do is a, it, well, it's a, it's, it's a dog. It's a canine. It's either a wolf or a coyote. Pretty cool looking. So I'm going to start by doing the contour of that animal. And I'm going to do it lightly in pencil. I'm going to start with where the nose is. And up. And then uh, kind of slope up again. And then up here. That looks like an ear. And another ear. Okay, now I'm going to switch and come back under here. Lightly sketching, La, light pressure. There, so we're at neck area, which is going to come off like that. All right, so this comes down. This is, might be hard to see on camera because I'm doing it lightly, but later when I when we go over with the ink, you will see. And it actually kind of comes in that way a little bit there and then this goes to his back which looks like just a little bit of a bump there and then another kind of bump and that goes to his tail which goes out bushy tail so this is the under part of it there Okay, so this comes down. Now we have legs. So here we have a leg that's going to come down. Have a little bit of a bend there. I'm going to do the other part of it, which goes up. Makes a little bit of a kind of an elbow. 
there. And this part bends backwards. Where there's a paw. This comes out down here. And another line that tapers into it. Like that. This is going to go forward now. Okay, so then that shows this leg. from here. And that goes behind that one. Another one that comes here. And they show this kind of just the paw sticking out from behind. There's my basic contour of the dog. Okay, so some of them are, that was, it was challenging, but you know, good art is gonna be challenging. Um, but some of the ones that I think would be harder would be the deer and probably that dog or coyote. The bear is probably an easier one and the squirrel is probably an easier one. Um, even the bird is probably a, an easier animal to do in terms of drawing the animal shape. But I'm going to stop this now and then I'm going to switch to the pen and show you how I would start working with Okay, so I'm kind of getting the hang of this here. I've started with the fine point sharpie and I started by just outlining. And then as I got up into the leg, I started building these branches. And I was really referring to the image. Um, to look at it, but they're all pretty angular simple. I'll show you how I would start one. Like I'm going to start with this paw down here, which he makes it look like it's coming out of the grass. So I could just do some little pen lines that show that looks like grass, where that comes out of. And then I'm just going to outline the paw, bring it up, Same thing over here, paw to the leg, up into there. And so he has this, now this becomes a tree, this leg. So I'm going to do like the fork of the tree there. So we have two main branches that are coming up. This one goes underneath that one and heads in this direction. So I'm just going to go like that. And here's another branch. I do this like skinny triangles that go off of that. And this can do another one. This one's gonna, I'm gonna do one that goes that way. This continues. Another branch comes over here. Let's have that whole thing bend split directions. And 
And of course, as it goes out farther away, the things get skinnier like that. And we just want these branches to kind of reach towards the edge of our pencil lines where the contour line was that we drew. If I continue with this one, this one looks like it goes up here. And it's a little branch that goes off this way. That goes up. It kind of bends over here. I'm going to actually make it this part go up, but I am going to put a big part that goes off in this direction because we need to fill up over here. So I can make a branch that comes over there towards his back and a branch that goes over here. I'll make this a branch go over there. This is going to go right to his back and then another one that's going to come out like that. A couple splits off of it like that. All right, so then what he does is that the, the skinny little tips he just puts these little hatching lines. Remember hatching? A lot of this is hatching. That's like where the branch terminates or ends. And then as we work back the branch, if there's any areas where it's hollow, you just fill it in with hatching lines. It doesn't have to be solid black. I'm just going to use these lines. And you want to do be neat about it. You want to be neat about it and not be scribbly or sloppy. But if I do all these lines that go in one direction, kind of following the shapes that I made, the outlines that I made. There. And we start to build these trees. And I would put more of these little things on the ends. Okay, so you can start to see it taking shape a little bit there. I'm going to stop the video and I'll bring it back when I have more done. Okay, so I've got more done now. Um, I'm going to show you again, kind of from the bottom, how I would <coughs> work one of these branches. So I outlined this paw. I went up and I split in two directions. Um, this one here is going over into this area and overlapping. So I'm just going right through those other branches. I'll put another branch here. This can go through that. Let's put another one that goes off like that. And another one. This is going to reach up in here. So I'm over here. This branch heads, I got to fill in over here. So this is going to go underneath that. Since we're shading it all, the overlapping part doesn't matter as much. I could just draw those lines right through because I'm going to shade it. And what I mean by shading, again, is the hatching lines. So I can go back into this paw or tree trunk, if you prefer, that I already outlined the pencil. But now I just go in with these hatching lines and fill it in. Changing the direction of my lines as the direction of the tree trunk kind of changes. This is going to go over here. This one here is going to bend in this direction. And I think I will put a couple branches that go off this way. This branch is headed up towards the back. Let's fill up, up in here. And then this one's going to go up here. We'll go another one off that way. One up goes over this way. And then if I wanted to work from uh, that way down, well, I left off this guy, but that's all right. This gets to be kind of intuitive here. If I were to finish this tree, for instance, I would just shade anywhere where there's hollow space. And then the little tips, I just put these little 
patching lines at the very end of the branches. And it's okay if some of those extend beyond your pencil contour. It's actually kind of cool if they do. Like, I'll extend this one. And some of those are going to overlap. Like, here we have two branches that overlap, so it's going to be kind of a dense area, but that's okay. This is a nice, quiet activity for a rainy day. So you can see, start to come to life. So I'm going to stop the video, and I'll come back when I have more done. So it's really starting to take shape now. Um, I have this area mostly done. It's going to be boring to watch me do this, so, so I'm only showing a little bit. But um, Again, if I was to work from the bottom up, like if I was to start with this paw, first I outline my pencil contour, then I add in my hatching lines to fill that in, because that is tree trunk. darken that one because I want that to look like it's going over the top of it. And then I get this. And then these the tips of these branches, it's almost like the letter V. You just do a diagonal and a diagonal on either side of it. Light touch. Let the marker or pen just kind of feather out at the end and that gives that nice what kind of end of branch symbol. Like that. Back into the hatch in here. Make sure I'm in the frame. Here's my little V's on the end of a branch like that. There. It's looking cool. So I'm going to bring it back when I have it all done to show you the finished product. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all the pen work done. So the last little bit here, artists sometimes have to hide their tracks. So we don't really want people to see the pencil contour line that we drew at the beginning. It's hard to see anyway, but... Um, if I just, because this is permanent sharpie, I don't have to worry about the eraser hurting the ink. But I can just kind of get rid of that pencil line around the outside. A lot of it's under the ink anyway, so you can't really see. There, and then all that's left is my trees that become... The animal, the, the dog, the wolf, the coyote. Um, I'm happy with this. I'm going to sign it. All right. Animals from trees. Okay. Happy uh, drawing. We'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.